He served 30 plus years with the Chicago Police Department and Officer Larry Newman was gunned down in his own front yard in the middle of the day. Now, as his murder investigation plays out, his family, his closest friends and his former colleagues are now suddenly mourning a man who they say helped prop up his community. With much of this ceremony reserved for a serving officer, Chicago police squad cars and bomb technician pickup trucks slowly roll out of Stroger Hospital, guiding an ambulance carrying the body of a department trailblazer. Westside leaders regard Larry Newman as something of a legend. Larry was uh, was all around. I mean, he was at the church uh, working. He did his work as a police officer right in the community, one of the first uh, African-American bomb techs in the department's history. Uh, just, a, just a great guy. Officer Newman protected the West Side community for decades. He served as a pastor steps from his family's longtime home near Monroe in Kildare. Early Thursday afternoon, police and family friends say Newman and his wife were working on the lawn when a few men walked up. His wife, she had just went inside. They were out cutting grass together, working together, and she had just gone inside. So, yes, she was right there. She heard the whole thing. Well, she, she heard the gunshots. When I got there, I saw the tape, the detectives, the police cars, and I knew it had to be true. It's not right. We deserve better than that, than this in the city of Chicago. Newman's high school classmate, Johnny Mae McGee, talks about her friend with that kind of shock where she still can't believe she'll have to use the past tense. He was my spiritual connection. He was an all-around good guy. I meant to call him two days ago, and I just didn't get around to it. Life then is a son of a gun. At 73 years old, Larry Newman was still using his bomb tech expertise, training young TSA agents at Chicago's airports. Now his former police colleagues are trying to piece together the murder of a veteran civil servant. Tonight, the Chicago Police Memorial Foundation is offering a $25,000 reward for the arrest and conviction of the person responsible for gunning down Officer Larry Newman. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.